Floods can be extremely expensive. Very. You may have experienced a flood in your own home or you know someone that's experienced a flood. I don't think I've ever had an actual flood in my own home. I know plenty of people who've had floods. Um, in our house, because of the water sensors, we've always been able to detect water leaks before they got out of hand. Um, we had one instance where underneath the master bedroom sink, uh, water had started leaking and it literally was a puddle about this big pulled up right next to the water sensor, set it off. We were able to catch it, fix the problem, dry up the water, and uh, literally in less than 15 minutes, it was resolved. Um, You're I've, extremely lucky. Very, and yeah. there's a lot of people I know that have not been so lucky. I know, at my parents' house when I was growing up, our water heater leaked. Mm. And the it, water heater does that. I, yes. That seems to be a big culprit, the water yeah. heaters. And it did exit the room, got into our carpet. Of course, the water heater had to be replaced and then lots of fans and everything to clear that up. Luckily, they caught it soon enough that mm -hmm. it wasn't a lot of damage, but still a flood sensor would have helped tremendously. Yep, I had a friend of mine who just the other day um, had a water heater break and because of the flood sensor, he was able to detect it early, replace the water heater. Uh, I went up and helped him and literally within just a few hours, um, we had the, everything replaced and fixed and it, other than just drying up the water that had leaked around the, the drain, there wasn't a lot of work to do. Mm, that's so, amazing. And you yeah. know, he was extremely happy to have a water sensor. Absolutely. This is our water sensor and it can go anywhere to detect water. Under the kitchen sink, in bathrooms, laundry rooms, again in the utility closet for that water heater. You do have to do a little bit of thinking on this one. You have to think about where the water's gonna go. You don't wanna put it in a high spot because then the water's gonna keep pooling up until it gets to that point. You wanna try and put it in that lowest spot possible so it does detect the water. On mine, I actually put it down at the base of the water heater, close to where the, the angle would be that if it started leaking, it would hit there first. These connect to the IQ panel using our 319.5 megahertz software and they're encrypted. The way it works is these two devices here, uh, these two metal contacts, when water hits both of them simultaneously, it completes a circuit which sends a signal to the panel saying, hey, water's detected. And then you can take the appropriate action, which is, you know, turn it off now, turn it off or, or do whatever. Right. Um, one additional thing that a lot of people have been doing a lot lately is adding in water shutoff valves. And these are great awesome. for a water shutoff valve because what you can say is, hey, water detected, now turn off the, the water to the entire house. And whether that's an automatic rule that you create or it's something that you do manually through your mobile app or through the panel, you know, either way, uh, allows you to shut off that entire water so that, again, the water doesn't just keep flowing out and flooding the whole house. It stops that leak. Yeah, that would be awesome too if you weren't home. Vacation or at work, you know that water's not continuing to leak. Then again, as you've mentioned, you're gonna get the notification on the panel and to your smartphone as well. Yep, I got a text message. I remember sitting on the couch and got a text message saying, water detected. And I said, what? And I looked over and our panel, I had had the, the siren turned off and I looked over and the, pa the panel was bright red. And I thought, oh my gosh, we've got a leak. And we're like, where is it? Where is it? And we looked on the panel, it said master bedroom sink, went running in there, barely any water at all. And it just barely started. It felt really good to catch that so early. PowerG also offers a flood sensor. So if you have water in a detached garage, a shed, anything like that, you're going to have that notification because of the long range. A flood sensor is definitely something you should look at investing in more than anything because it's going to save you money again and really prevent that leak from becoming a lake. So definitely put one underneath the water heater and then as you can expand your system out, add them to all the other places in the home. But start with that water heater. That's the one that always seems to go bad first.